If you want to know about my top five fitness tips, just stick around. Hey guys, this is Ia Love Scent and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're into fragrances, lifestyle, and fitness, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. So today, I will be sharing with you my top 5 fitness tips. Now, I am not a fitness professional at all, nor am I a doctor or a medical practitioner, so do take my suggestions with a grain of salt. And these are just the tips that works well for me and it may or may not work for you. So again, take my tips with a grain of salt. So let's get into it. nutrition and 10% working out. I personally actually work out just about two times a week. So I pretty much just work out every Monday, which I pretty much film and record my leg day workouts or my full body workouts and every Tuesday, which is more cardio focused. And I sometimes just throw in my upper body workouts. So what do I mean by 90% diet and nutrition. Well, of course, you have to make sure that your diet is actually really healthy. And I personally already just skipped on, you know, like unhealthy carbs or simple carbs like white rice, white pasta. But I do, in, you know, like indulge a little bit of that here and there when I actually want to. But at the end of the day, I make sure that my diet is definitely um, more on the fruits and vegetables and I make sure that I have quite a lot of fiber in my system. Now I also incorporate a healthy amount of protein in my diet which means that I don't exactly make it too high of a protein content that will actually just trigger my eczema. So as you have actually known in my previous videos too much protein actually triggers my inflammation, my skin inflammation, my eczema. So I really need to just um, make sure that my protein intake and my fat intake is just on the normal side of things. And again, make sure that I incorporate more fruits and more vegetables in my diet. And yeah, I also indulge in sweets as well because I actually co-own Pan Delicioso QC. It's a pastry business that my brother and I own. It's a small pastry business and yeah that business just revolves around my passion for sweets because ever since I was younger I really had a sweet tooth and I'm really just so happy that I was able to take that passion of mine into a business and at the same time I'm also able to you know like make sure that my diet is healthy and that I don't overly like restrict myself. Again, I, you know, I live and I make sure that I eat to live and not live to eat. If that makes any sense, like I make sure that I fuel my body really well. I make sure that I don't, you know, overly restrict myself with my diet. 
And again, I don't punish myself either when it comes to, you know, working out. Because at the end of the day, like I said, you know, working out is just 10% of my own fitness routine. So yeah, that is my top one tip for you guys. All right, so my top two tip is to actually invest on really cute, functional, and really just fashionable workout wear or active wear. So I am actually wearing Ina Active Wear by my good friend Ina Peleo. She is a celebrity and an actress. By the way, go check out her current show called To Have and To Hold. She plays the role of Kel Asuncion, I think. That's the surname, but yeah, she plays the role of Kel, and her character there is like a very um, loving, independent, and family-oriented person. So yeah, she came up with a very fabulous fitness wear, and as you can see, I am wearing it right now. This sports bra, actually, I've been using this for almost four years already. I'm not sure if she still has this style. I forget the name of the style, but yeah. This is also part of her um, past collection, the leggings that I'm wearing right now. And yeah, she is actually coming up with new designs. So do check out her Instagram, her website for updates. So I really just love Ina Active Wear. It's both fashion and function. So what do I mean by fashion and function? It's so cute. It makes you just so motivated to work out and just dress up and show up for your workout now function it's definitely squat proof and you can definitely like move so well in it i can squat i can do some yoga stretches i can jump in it or you know like run in it pretty much any workout routine that you can think of eat active wear can support that so well so again top two tip is to invest on a very cute functional and fashionable fitness wear like ina active wear okay now on to my top three fitness tip is to make sure that your workout space is clean and fresh actually i was sent by my sentiments with their entire range of um, room and linen spray so I'm very much thankful for that it is not sponsored at all and my reviews are definitely like um, authentic and not biased at all so anyway I actually have four of their room and linen sprays and it's part of their energized collection so these fragrances actually make sure that my workout space is you know like smelling fresh and that I am in the zone in my workouts. Now, I know that these scents are energizing, but you know what? I also use these scents at night when I have to, you know, like sleep and whenever I actually also do meditate. So it is both energizing and relaxing at the same time. Now, I have here white sheets. Now, this one actually smells very comforting. It smells like cotton and i believe that this one actually has iris which gives that baby powder um, smell to it and at the same time this has this aldehydic um, scent to it i think that my sentiments used aldehydes for this one so if, you, if you're not familiar with aldehydes it's um, a man-made fragrance note that when used in fragrance gives off that very clean almost fresh laundry or very soapy vibe to it so this is the first fragrance now the next fragrance is lemon and neroli now i actually expected this one to heavily smell on lemon but i'm actually very much pleased that this one is heavily on the neroli side now if you're not familiar what neroli smells like it smells very fresh there's, there's a little bit of that aquatic quality to it because not only you can find it um, in areas where it's very tropical and you can definitely also find not only by the beach and yeah it smells very aquatic there's a little bit of like that salty quality to it yet there's that um, citrusness to it now lemon 
here is just basically on the background and it's not too sharp and yeah basically it's not too sharp to the point that it's going to be so cloying or nauseating again this one also has that aldehyde very clean and fresh scent to it so i love this one and then the next one is lime and orange now i know that you guys may think that this one will smell so sharp so zesty but actually the way I was able to interpret the scent of this one, the way my nose was able to pick up on the scent of this one is more on the orange blossom. So orange blossom is both citrus and it has that white floral quality to it. That white floral quality to it actually gives off that almost like musky and animalic quality to it. And then mixed with that sweetness and tartness from both orange and lime, it's just so fabulous for you to use when you work out. It smells so energizing and clean at the same time. And lastly, there is bamboo and eucalyptus. Now, if you're into, you know, yoga, if you are into meditation every morning, this is perfect for you because bamboo gives off that very clean, yet very earthy and grounding scent to it. And yet eucalyptus has that freshness that green quality to it as well and at the same time it adds to that sweetness so it's not too overly earthy it's not too overly airy but you also get a hit of it you also get a whiff of that sweetness to it so again i really just adore my sentiments and thank you so much jerell for sending me your entire line i will be reviewing the rest in a different video so yeah guys check out my sentiments if you want your workout space or your office your room to just you know smell absolutely fresh and energizing do check out their energizing set and they also have like a calming set as well so do check that one out on their website which i'll be linking down in the description box okay so my top four fitness tip is to make sure to set realistic goals now I know that nowadays it's just so easy to be swayed by you know ads that claim that oh this product will give you results in just one week or this type of diet will make you lose weight in under a month. That's just not exactly you know sustainable and that's not exactly realistic for you to have because if you're going to be having that fast of a result it means that You'll have to be so restrictive and some of the things that you might end up taking might be dangerous as well for your health. So I really highly suggest to set very realistic goals and make sure that you know, you're actually you know, being very gentle as well to yourself because at the end of the day, if you just stress yourself out with your diet, with your fitness, you know, you're going to raise up your cortisol level and that's not exactly nice because if you raise up your cortisol level, your body will just hold on to that body fat and it will just store that body fat instead of lose it because it will go into a fight or flight mode when you are excessively stressed. Especially nowadays, there's a pandemic and you know, you're pretty much like just so stressed out with the pandemic already and you can't just, you know, add your fitness routine, your diet, your fitness goals into that stress. So again, make sure that everything is fun for you. And again, like fitness is not a one size fits all. Like whatever works for me may not work for you. So find something that you will enjoy, find something that you will actually love and be passionate about, whether it's strength training, yoga, running, cycling, or hiking. Like. Anything that gets you moving will definitely help and if you actually do find a diet that works for you, stick to it because at the end of the day as well, it's consistency over, you know, being rigorous because if you are able to be consistent, like over time, you will see results and just like fragrance, fitness also do take time. You know, like when you actually make fragrance, by the way, it actually takes a long time for a perfumer to create that art 
to me, fitness is also an art. If you want to sculpt your body, if you want to, you know, like make sure that you're healthy, there's an art to it as well. So art also takes a lot of patience and a lot of time. So again, set realistic goals and be very gentle to yourself. And my top five fitness tip is to revolve your fitness routine with your lifestyle and not the other way around. What do I mean by that? I know that a lot of you are also working professionals and some of you may also, you know, like um, have that need to get out of the house, to go to the office or go to work and do all sorts of things. Now, your lifestyle should not revolve around fitness because if you make your lifestyle revolve around your fitness routine, then you're gonna be miserable and like you're not gonna be able to have that flexibility with your time and again like a huge chunk of being healthy is also being mentally healthy as well and strong so if you actually revolve your lifestyle around your fitness you'll be stressed out again your cortisol level will just shoot up and instead of losing body fat your body will just be on fight or flight mode and it will just hold on to a lot of you know like the body fat you're supposed to lose so yeah again it's supposed to be fun it's supposed to be exciting fitness is again a routine it's a habit so you can actually like make sure that you're flexible with your fitness routine because like for me there are days when i you know need like very few time with my fitness routine especially that i co-own a business i can't just you know like forgo my business um that i co-own with my brother and just focus so much on my fitness routine or like focus way too much on my fitness routine then let go of my youtube channel that's not healthy at all that's not how a healthy mindset works so yeah i do hope that my top five tips will help you get into that healthy track and help you jumpstart your fitness routine. So yeah, I hope that you guys learned something from this video and enjoyed this video. Do check out Pandelish also QC, my business, Ina Active Wear by my good friend Ina Paleo. And oh, by the way, do check out as well her business that she co-owns with her husband, Chef Giacomo. So she actually co-owns Pastichi and yeah it's definitely like a hundred percent um authentic italian cuisine and i'm actually eyeing on their tiramisu by the way yeah i actually love supporting local brands and um, brands that my friends also do have so yeah and also do check out my sentiments for your room and linen fragrances that will make sure that you're energized and relaxed and just overall make your house smell definitely clean pristine and fresh so yeah check out all of those links down in the description box also do follow me on instagram i love chatting with you guys and um you know just getting you know like tips and tricks um from you with fragrance lifestyle fitness so yeah i hope that you guys enjoy this video subscribe to my youtube channel hit that notification bell and give this video a thumbs up guys stay happy healthy and safe